sort of saw it advertised that um, you know people can donate their trees and get them collected. And then there was also at the same time um, appealing for, for volunteers to to help out. And as I'd always said, I kind of wanted to do some sort of volunteering for the hospice. And I thought, yeah, why not get involved in that? You know, I'm, I'm free that weekend. Um, let's give that a go. Um, and absolutely loved it. So it was, it was quite hard work, sort of lifting all the all the trees and some of them sort of through Emerson Park and, and Brentwood are absolutely massive. So you're, you're kind of carrying massive trees, but it was just such a great day. Like everyone's in such a good spirit just after Christmas. Um, really good day. Went back the, the year after as well to, to do it. I uh, was um, at, the, at the chipping station, just sort of chucking the trees into the chipper. Um, but then the, the last year I was sort of going around in, in, in one of the vans um, with Elaine um, and we had a really good two days sort of just driving around up and down sort of Upminster, Romford, Gidea Park. Um, I think it goes as far as Brentwood and Shenfield as well, so all around the, the Havering area. You sort of, you're standing out in the streets at times soaring off trees and people are looking at you a bit weird, but then yeah, all for a great cause you donate as much as you want from five pound up to, to whatever you want and the, the hospice will collect your Christmas tree for you um, and people like me will go around in a, a van and um, yeah, pick it up from your drive and chuck it in the boot and then chuck it on a, on a chipper with the with a tree company. You find the pines like for the, the week after in your trousers so it's, I'm wondering where they've come from but I'm just, yeah.